all right hello everyone welcome to monkey games channel this is manu and uh, today i'm gonna tell you about my new pet uh, it is in the picture here in front of you so i will tell you the story of this little insect i got for the past two months so basically this one is a rhino beetle uh, it is popular in japan and I wasn't convinced to have it as a to have it as pet. But it looks like a cockroach. It looks like a cockroach. Its color is exactly like a cockroach. It has the same leg count as a cockroach, and it acts and behaves like a cockroach. But I've read like a little bit on the internet, and it says like rhino beetles are the most or the strongest animals on this planet they could carry 85 uh, 85 percent no they could carry like around 85 their weight no what what the heck i'm talking about anyway i was drinking boomer juice because this is a sad story anyway <laughs> so basically uh, this guy in front of you, his name is Kabukun, means Kabuto Mushi in Japanese. Uh, I was planning to name him Gokiboriko, means Mr. Cockroach. But my wife said, no, it's not a beautiful name. That guy is cute enough and he will be your best friend and you should give him a nice cute name. So I gave him Kabukun. So basically now uh, this is like the first day I, I uh, brought him home so I didn't know what to do with it it was like my first time ever to see like a creature like this like cute and disgusting at the same time but I said all right what the heck I'm gonna search the internet and see how to raise it and I failed miserably and I'm sad because of it anyway so now this uh, rhino beetle just chilling on the table in my living room and I have no idea what to do with it it's like disgusting I didn't want to touch it and it didn't that beetle didn't want anything to do with me it's not friendly at all and <laughs> it keeps like escaping run for her it runs for its life anyway I tried to put some watermelon for it to eat but apparently it didn't eat the watermelon even my wife told me like the kabutomushi they like uh, watermelon the best but I tried to feed it to feed its watermelon but I found something that they will never eat in front of me or they will after or after a while so I should live I should like left it alone with that uh, with that uh, watermelon for a while and it will eat it but uh, I didn't have patience now I tried to put that on my arm so it was like clamping on my arm like this and it was it felt really weird but basically those beetles when they feel angry like they squeeze the flesh so I freaked out and I just put it aside because uh, I didn't want the beetle to bite me <laughs> and I didn't so now Kabukun is flipping me off and he don't want to eat his uh, watermelon and he's still not my friend um, and he didn't want anything to do with me but I like it so it looks like a little bit cute and like little by little I start getting used to it so I went to the uh, one dollar shop in Japan it called the happy and shop means 100 yen shop and it was full of things to raise the kabutomushi basically they have the these kind of soil or the wood fragments uh, with the food they eat jello even Mario told me that those beetles they eat shit they don't eat uh, they don't eat jello but uh, they're 
is a special jello in the Hakuyan shop which those beetle like a lot so my beetle this one Kabukon he eats two pieces of jello daily <clears throat> so I also bought a container like a plastic container for it uh, because like it was chilling around uh, it was chilling around my house like freely and uh, it was like all over the place pissing and uh, pooping around uh, they poop a lot and they are smelly so it is not recommended to leave them uh, roam around the house freely it is bad your house will smell like uh, kabutomushi poop so this is the jello that my kabutomushi likes to eat uh, basically they like to eat uh, fruits uh, fruit taste so when my wife bought uh, him uh, brown sugar taste he, he refused to eat it mm. right now he's nice and cozy inside his uh, little container but since I was a noob and I didn't know how to raise a kabutamushi that soil or the wood fragment inside his uh, container it was a little bit because they like to dig and sleep underneath uh, like to hide themselves so I learned that a little bit later not too late but I had to search on the internet a lot anyway so when it entered the container it was like get me out of here I don't want to stay in your little sucky uh, container and it's too uh, little and small for me and I don't want to stay in that shitty uh, container so I went ahead and I bought another one bigger one after like few days or something so it stayed in that little container for one day I don't remember anyway I was reading on the internet here that those kabutomushis they should take a shower daily or they will die because they uh, they live in like hot climates with the humidity so it seems that I gave him showers too much maybe I have no idea and he didn't like it so basically uh, when he gets his shower he will be pissed off and if he has two, three claws, he would give me the middle one. Anyway, uh, this shop is really uh, this one. Oh, it's really cute. So basically, that is my uh, table lamp. It looks like a sunset, and he's wet and miserable inside his uh, little container and he's begging to go out, but there is no hope for him to go out. Mm. So here, exactly here when I start to start to, to like him. <laughs> Look at that little wet cockroach. So cute. Somehow. And I also use like a micro lens to take his pictures. This one is my favorite. So every morning I bought this uh, uh, wooden plate for him to put his jello inside of it. Every morning I will find him like this. Uh, his head inside the plate and his ass is up. So he looks like a bumblebee. You know like, not a bumblebee, like a bee. It's bumblebee are boys. Okay, but no, uh, only bees goes inside the flower and leave their ass outside like this exactly look now he how he moves his uh, feet so cute so uh, Mr. Kabukun uh, he kept moving inside his container he never uh, felt he, he kept like moving jumping around like a little imp he is so I took him outside and we start to uh, we started watching One Piece together and he come he keep like uh, he 
he came down and uh, when I returned him to his uh, container he just buried himself and he went to sleep so basically on the internet they say like those beetles they don't like noise um, and I noticed when I was playing guitar so when when I play guitar he's active maybe he doesn't like it I don't know but there is one insect they like uh, electric guitars uh, they are wasps okay so last year I was playing my guitar loud as usual so I was leaving like the balcony door open so three uh, wasps enter my house or three killer hornets murder hornets entered my house so I managed to kick out two of them and I killed one so those hornets like the two hornets left they haunted my balcony and they were like waiting feet waiting for me to go outside to avenge their friend but they didn't manage to kill me it was last year in the like the rainy season so they went away when a typhoon came and swipe, swiped them away so here my kabutomoshi uh, he lost one of his legs and that was bad news for me so i searched the internet and they say like in the end of their lifespan which is like around one year they start losing limbs and that guy lost one of his limbs and now like when i started to get used to it and i could like cuddle it and touch it and he, when he started to be friendly to me uh and he was like less active than usual and but like day after day he started being like less active and he lost his appetite for food and uh, he also didn't care about his uh, own uh, like he was always clean but now like you can see like those uh, dust on his shell anyway so now uh, you also can see like how his horn is shaking like his head is shaking he's not moving normally so I start being concerned about him but I took care of it so he used to eat like two pieces of jello uh, daily at that time he started to eat only one or half piece of jello so during the past two months when I was away from the internet I there were like too many things happening to me I will search I will share them with you guys on the internet soon or I will upload them I have videos uh, but they were fully fully full I was very busy so but I was watching the, some YouTube like during the past few months even like I turned on my PC only like three uh, three times or four times maximum I didn't have the time to do anything part-time job was really 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 busy because you know I work as a teacher and the schools they were like during the quarantine they lost like two months of lessons worth of lessons and they have to make them up and who's gonna make them up teachers will okay if you notice like now his right arm it he, he he's not moving it so now he's like losing his health somehow even I did my best to keep him happy and healthy but I was really surprised like there there was like no way to help him like I was searching the internet like my rhino beetle can't move its limbs my rhino beetle lost one limb I couldn't find anything like if I if I if I could like take him to a vet clinic or something I would I was really concerned about that little guy and that is the brown sugar that he didn't like to eat see he didn't even touch it poor Kabakon my little buddy so I was watching like a few YouTube videos about motorbikes uh, now all the uh, 
famous YouTubers, they are talking about simps and Karens, uh, which is like a little bit boring for me, like, you know, I'm a boomer, and they like boomer juice, so, and Kabutomushi is now, <laughs> that little guy, uh, I had so much fun with him, but it is the last pets I'm gonna have, it was really painful to lose him. Or like watching him losing his health, like little by little. It is, it was hard. So even now, like his movement, it's totally different than it used to be. Like his strength is, uh, he's becoming weaker. told me like you can stretch their lifespan to two years maximum but you need uh, another container something with the, a temperature control so they could last through the winter but this guy didn't last even through the summer because he died yesterday and broke my heart Some uh, sad, I will play some sad music for my little tablet machine. So, mm, this is like the bigger container I bought for him. fly but he didn't even try to fly even once I wanted to see him fly but I couldn't maybe if I like held him between my hands and like tried to throw him he would fly or something but no I was not that cruel to try it especially when he's in this condition a little bit weaker so I could put him on my leg um, so he didn't scratch me or he was trying to reach my skin to scratch it as always but uh, he's becoming like too weak so he lost his left uh, leg and he couldn't move his right arm for some reason I have no idea why or maybe I do I'm just talking about So this 
I have to clean my desk pretty bad. Anyway, so this one, I was working on my PC and he was like not moving and he kept like flipping on his back, okay, and flailing his legs uh, like crazy. So I kept like flipping him back on his uh, tummy, but, uh, but I felt really uh, tired of it and I just put him to chill in my, on my desk but that was his like last moment his last hour uh, he didn't last for an hour maybe when I found him next to me found him dead inside this container now he's not moving he's just chilling around and that was my last that was his last goodbye to me he just stayed to clean him up basically when I clean him like this he will be pissed off he will give me a finger but he didn't because he was too tired and I have no idea about how to save him now I will leave you with this god damn it he's not moving Kabukon wake up Kabukon move Kabukon Buddy, hey, Kabakon, wakey, Kabakon, wake up, buddy. What's up? What's the matter with you, Kabakon? God damn it, he's dead. Jesus, I'm sorry, Kabakon, wake up. So you wanna die standing? Sorry, no movements, move it, Kabakon, wakey, Kabakon, oh my god, who is that, Kabakon, Wakey little buddy. 